2009, married couple Scott and Stacy Warman purchased the long-standing successful country bar, the Gallop and Goose. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to own a bar. We walked into the place and I said, this is my kind of bar. Hey, Ralph, Jenna. When I first bought it, business was good. Most successful month we've had, did about 80,000 sales. When we first bought the bar, Scott and I were working as the owners. I was taking care of our five-year-old then, and I was pregnant, so I wasn't here as much as I would have liked. The business's prosperity was short-lived, as Scott struggled with self-control. Had all these plans, and then all of a sudden, bam, it was just gone. He liked to party a lot while he was here, and he's got a totally different life with his girlfriend. Why he's all yelling at me? You were sleeping with the customers. You got her pregnant. Had a mistress and a children by his girlfriend, and I think that's what really killed it for him. These things that stabbed me. I screwed up my marriage. <laughs> we got divorced. She ended up moving back to California. Took my kids. I missed the hell out of my kids. For my sanity, I needed to be gone. I was depressed. My kids were gone. Just depressed. It was rough. Some days is like a knife in the heart. But Scott's actions chase more people away than just Stacy. This town is kind of small. It's had a lot of problems with back rep. It felt empty without my family. So I, I guess I filled that with uh, a lot of booze. There's times I came in here face drunk and acted like an ass. So it did affect people's opinion of me and the bar. In 2013, Stacy returned to Coolidge with her two kids. In order for my kids to see their dad, I finally decided that I would give it another chance and work together at the bar again and fix my relationship with Scott. But Scott never made the transition to being a proactive owner. He's lazy. Honestly, I just think that he bought this bar and thought that it would kind of run itself. And when he does come, he's playing on his phone, sitting out back, sitting at the bar. You got this like right here. Thanks. Our bar is really shaky. He puts off a lot of things that can be done. We didn't have AC for a couple of summers, and it's Arizona. It's hot. Whatever needs button, I do it. I disagree with that statement. Name one thing. Fixing things in a timely manner. Just say no, and you walk away. That's not true at all. I'm sorry. You see it that way. That's how it is. Now, Gallopin' Goose is in debt $370,000, losing $2,000 a month, and is only six months from closing the doors for good. I have three kids to take care of, and uh, if this place doesn't succeed and make money, I mean, I can't take care of my family. Hi, this is John Taffer. Be sure to subscribe to Spike's YouTube channel, where you can watch more Bar Rescue videos.